The tomatoes and the grapes. Uh, they seem to be fighting for sunshine and for airspace. We've been giving them lots of water and certainly some of them are responding differently to their environment than others. Uh, we've got a cement uh, base that we conceived when we were putting the deck on that was required for grapes. Um, and the first two grape plants uh, that we harvested or planted at that time are still surviving nicely. So it's one of those things that you get used to them and they get used to you. But right now the tomatoes are in that nice space as well and they are trying to compete with the grapes for sunshine. So. We also have some uh, potatoes planted underneath the uh, apricot tree which was here when we came and uh, it usually dictates what we do uh, in June and July uh, but uh, uh, usually it's uh, finished by uh, the 15th or the 20th of uh, July but this year we had a severe frost that uh, happened um, well, severe frost, 27 below for more than 24 hours or 30 hours or whatever it was. And usually it's pretty good, but it came at the wrong time of the year. So we didn't get very much, uh, there was only 14 um, blooms on it. And so uh, we didn't uh, have any apricots this year to deal with. Uh, we do have lots of grapes, and we're going to have lots of tomatoes. So uh, birdhouses and grapes is uh, basically the best way to describe our place. But uh, we're still watching Blue Jay games, but I think right now we're at uh, five losses in a row without bow. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to our year, but uh, we still have some good pitching. Firm, uh, I'm a firm believer in composting, and uh, it's uh, one of those things that uh, gives me some exercise. Um, so we've got some peppers, we've got some potatoes, more potatoes, and there's some peppers and onions. I don't know whether we're getting off sunshine. Got more potatoes, and uh, we've got a couple of small tea roses that have been surviving the last five or six years. So we're going to give them some partners this year, I guess. 
and more roses and potatoes more rhubarb more rhubarb more roses more roses and some potatoes more roses and potatoes and more bird houses. Uh, this rose has been here for 24 years. Uh, we thought it was dead this year, so we cut it right down, but it's growing back out of the ashes. Mom's favorite plant was given to her by a friend of ours, a Russian uh, plant. More roses again. Oh, these are the same ones I showed you before. And this was planted here. Tell me about the house. <laughs> 